I see TikToks on here all the time that talk about like, you know, pretty girls and how they're never approached. And it's true. Like I was just out at a bar. Black men were there. None of them talked to my friends and I. All pretty girls, black girls, none. And it's like, people say, like, finding someone to have sex with you, to take you out to eat, to compliment you, is not hard. I can go on these apps clearly and find someone that's ready to have sex with me tonight, right now, without even knowing my last name. Literally does not know if I've just had, just got rid of an STD yesterday, but is definitely willing to have sex with me right now. But finding someone that like is willing to check on me when I say I'm having a bad day, that's too much. And it's just so frustrating because it's like, I'm just myself. I don't know what else to do. All right. <laughs> oh boy. This is funny. Uh, the clip you just heard was something somebody sent me from TikTok, I do believe it is. And don't know the girl's name, but obviously this is a another brick in the wall of indifference. It looks like hot girl summer and black girl magic is not working as intended. The old saying is, be careful what you wish for, you might get it. Miss Independent, Miss I don't need no man. Miss you can't tell me what to do. Miss I don't wanna be a wife. Miss I don't wanna be submissive a cooperative with a black man miss i want to divest comes with consequences and i'm getting tired of women man stand on your damn square stand on it stand on your disrespect that's what i'm saying stand on it that's all men want if you're gonna disrespect us if you want to be independent if you want to divest stand on your disrespect 10 toes down on your square on your disrespect on your position and be unwavering. None of this, I don't know what else to do. I'm just a girl and men don't approach us. But, but you love going on the dating apps and going to dinner, chilling, getting your back blown out. You can do that. That's what you wanted. You wanted freedom, sexual freedom, independence, not being tied down, not giving men what they want, but also you want something. None of these women ever said I need to figure out what men want and be in service to my men. These are the same women that will not smile at you or, or nod at you or acknowledge you on the street. They won't acknowledge you in the workplace when they're serving you. They won't call you sir. They won't call you uh, anything, right? They'll basically take your money. It won't even look you in the eye and throw the money back at you. Like, just get out of the way. If I'm not trying to uh, get serviced by you because you're freaking concubine, you know, work to me. If you're not servicing me as a as a resource surf, you're not worth me. So get out of my face. Don't even treat your own man with human dignity. And after, as, as sooner or later, men are gonna wise up. Sooner or later, you're gonna get tagged at, oh, she black, man. She's a, she's a Klingon, she ain't got no chill. She's on that independent BS. Sooner or later, men will get the message. Black men are hard headed. God knows we hard headed. God knows we're stubborn. God knows we are slow to come to the table, slow to come to realization because we always got that hope that our mama gave us. But like the turtle, slow and steady win the race. Once we get it, we get it. Once we get the message, we get it. And black men are getting the message. Black men are getting the message. They are who we thought they were. And we're tired of letting them off the hook. So the simps are in full retreat because they can't justify, they can't excuse black women's behavior anymore. They can't. They're getting tired. They're getting beat up they're on YouTube. They're getting beat up in Twitter and Facebook and world star hip hop. Everybody's playing examples of these black women and their independence and their hot girl summers wilding out. And at some point, Lois Lane is going to put herself in a precarious position and Superman will not be there to save her. And that's exactly what's happening. They expect black Superman to swoop out of the sky and save themselves from their own doing, from their own demise. And black man said, we ain't doing this no more. Lois Lane, you gonna die, okay? <laughs> Cause I'm not saving your ass this time. I'm gonna go divest. I'm gonna go get somebody else. I'm going back to Smallville. Get me a basic woman. You wanna be on Hot Girl Summer? You wanna be 
Megan Thee Stallion. You want to twerk. You want to do all this craziness. And black men are supposed to sit by and take it and be there to catch, pick up the pieces once you fall apart. Black men are the one thing for the people to keep this black community together because without us, it would collapse. Black men fight, die, and sacrifice for 300 years for this segment we call Eidos, Negroes. Okay, I'm going to start, stop the Eidos stuff. I'm going to start using our, the old term, the, the our classified term, instead of all this BS. Negroes, black men have fought and died and gotten hung for the survival of the Negro race, for the Negro class. While our women have cavorted with Mr. and cavorted with Miss Ann and allied against us, suppressed us, kept their, kept their foot on our necks, and we sat there and we served just like the Jim Hadar because we believed it was the order of things. But at some point, the Jim Hadar would get off of that drug they call Catch Yourself White and then be independent. And then that's when the foundation will start to crack and the founders will start to get afraid because the Jim Hadar are independent and there's nothing they can do about it. Now they're talking about they need you back. We love black men. Black men are oppressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lip service. That lip service will not do it. You're going to have to show and prove. I don't care about you being humble. I don't care about you being cooperative. No, you, that's too late for all that. You're going to have to compete. You're going to have to compete for our attention. You can't sit up there and sit around in your little circle at a club, all dolled up, looking kind of cute, and think that that's supposed to attract us and we're going to wander over and talk to you. No, BS. You're going to have to get up off your behinds Get away from that drink, walk over and offer a drink. It's like the girl said, walk over to the dude and say, what you doing? Here's my number. Meet me for coffee. Or better yet, let's leave the bar right now and go get a coffee so we can talk. So I can get to know you on my dime. You're going to have to be more proactive. Got to see a brother. Hey, you know what? I was at the pizzeria. I got a couple of slices. Do you want one? Now, brother's going to be shocked at first, but going to say this is a trap because you're too nice. You're acting like a white girl. You're acting like, acting like a Latina instead of the Klingon chick that you are. So they're going to be a little weary. But if you keep it up and basically you persist, brothers will bend. They'll give you a shot. You can reverse this stuff. But the thing is, the longer you let this slide, the longer you be, be stubborn and, and be these renegade Klingon chicks that you are, Guess what's going to happen? It's going to get worse. At some time in the future, you'll reach a point of no return. And the brothers ain't coming back. They're already off the chain. They're already at the gate. Once the gate is open and they gone, they gone. So word to the wise. Word to your mother. It's time to go back to the old ways. It's time to start courting your men again. You don't want to court them? Trust and believe the Latinas will. Latinas know how to court their men. Latinas know how to get their man. Trust and believe my son tells me about that all the time. The Latinas come in with the 10 toes down. They come in with respect and cooperation and submissiveness and courting skills, which is something your mama should have told you how to do. Because you, the, your mama has told you that black men aren't worth courting. Black men aren't even worth being nice to. Black men aren't even worth paying attention to unless he's cute enough to actually service you and blow your back out. And if that's the case, you want black men to be cute enough and good looking enough and how on account of the bodies, that means you need to come out of your pocket. Like this young lady once said a long time ago, man, on a show of mine, what her stepfather told her. It's only two ways a woman can pay a man. What's between her legs and what's between her wallet. She said, pick one and be consistent. Right now, got black men are trying to get paid by what's between their legs. Let that shift over. It's going to be what's between your wallet. And y'all don't have enough money to pay what black men bring to the table. But that is a video for another day. But with that, I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.